Dear Vlad, thank you for asking me to go sailing. I'll be there on Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. Your friend, Gus. Yes, now there's only a few rules we have to remember when we go to sea. And the first one is that nobody's allowed to fall overboard. It's totally against the rules to fall overboard. And the second rule is that when you're on watch, steering the boat, you can get anything you want. You just have to say, give me some chocolate and you'll get some. Because you're, you're the most important man when you're at the wheel. And the third rule is that no one's allowed to get ill. We might get a little bit seasick sometimes, but we won't get ill. So those are the three main rules. And the fourth one is that the captain's always right, even though that's not true. When we pull the sheets in and the uh, sails get all tight, we can go into the wind. Sister, help to trim the sails. Hallelujah. Sister, help trim the sails. Dolphins. I think they're killer whale. There's a killer whale. See, he has a very high fin and white spots on his sides. And there's the old barracuda. They're not really any problem. They look... <laughs> they look very, very fierce, but they're no, not really a problem. Hey, here's your lunch. Thank you. That's clam chowder. How'd you like it? Great. Good. Yeah, you look like you're enjoying it. Don't drip it all down now.
Okay, now Gus, this is sargassum weed. It's a floating seaweed that only lives out on the ocean. It never is fixed to the bottom. And you see this piece here? Looks like ferns growing on it. Those yeah. are really little animals. And they filter out all the little particles from the seawater to live on them. And then there's these little floats that hold it all up. Buoys? <laughs> They're just like buoys, that's right. There's some more little animals, a different sort, that live on it. And somewhere in here we ought to be able to find a shrimp or two. And some crabs, maybe. And, oh, here's, here's a snail. Where? Right there, there, that little black thing is a snail. Oh, there. Yeah, it's quite a big one. Now, that's really an interesting one. That's, we not, to, that's we, not a big snail for a real a good snail, though. No, but for the stuff out here, it's quite big. We'll, we'll isolate that. I want you to see these. These are anemones. See those little anemones with arms sticking out? Uh, no. Aren't those beautiful? See uh, them? See that's, them? Uh, that's almost like a jellyfish. Yeah, they're related to jellyfish. They're like jellyfish that live fixed to something. There's some fish down there, look. Here's some filefish. Look at the filefish. Occasional showers or thunder showers, likely tonight with briefly heavy rain at times. Well, Monday night around 70, probability of precipitation, 60% tonight, 50% Monday, 30% Monday night. What's your call? Are those? those are Cory's shearwaters. They're they're very big shearwater and they come mostly from right over the other side of the Atlantic. They come from places like Madeira and the Azores, about two thousand miles away. Do you like the way they fly? Yeah. See how they ride along on the tops of the waves and then they go sweeping up and come down on the next wave? You, if you watch really close, you'll see why they're called shearwaters, because every so often they'll just dip the end of the wing, just skimming along, and it'll actually touch the water, and you'll see a little streak where the wingtip touches the water. I think those are probably feeding on anchovies or something around the buoy. What I want to do is find out everything that lives around a buoy that's a long way from land. And now we're seeing just the birds that come around it. But once we get down into the water, we're going to see hundreds of little fish, 
and then bigger fish that live on the little fish, and then bigger and bigger fish. That and live like, on the big fish. Right. That live on the little fish. That's right. Gotcha. Well done. That's good. Okay, you sit there. Okay. Get it over here. Ah! You all right? Don't have the sun on my foot. It's heavy. I'm sorry. Shark, eight feet. Great white shark, thirty uh, feet. No, that's the bad one. Black eh? tip shark, six feet. Norse Norse shark, six to ten feet. Let's see which ones I've seen. I've seen that one, tiger shark. And I think I saw a mackerel shark one time, but I'm not too sure about that. So I've seen, I seen a bull shark. It's a bit like that one. Mostly sharks aren't a problem, you know. Great white sharks are dangerous, but very few other sharks give you any trouble unless you give them trouble. Right, feeling the sea rushing by underneath you? Yeah. I can. T when I'm way at the back down there, I can hear the water perfectly. It's a great noise, isn't it? Look. 
Jesse, get it on good and tight. This is a folding anchor. It's off an old seaplane. It's a very fine anchor. It's our best one. When we put these down, this one will lock. Okay. See? Okay. We're going to throw it in. It's on the bottom. Now lower the rope in for me. You can lower that in for me. Keep lowering it in. There we go. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's go and tie it on that post there. On the post over here. Okay, that's good. All right, good. I think we're pretty well anchored there now. Yep, pretty good. 